Well, I decided to audition to become Buki Head because ever since my freshman year, everybody told me I should audition. When I first came to campus uh, as a new lower, I just remember seeing the, the Blue Key Heads and how well they were able to lead the crowd and get everyone to get involved. And to me, that was something that was really fascinating, and, I was, and that really excited me. And it was kind of just, wow, I'm just gonna, I'm just gonna do that. Like eventually, I know I'm gonna want to be one of them. Um, I think just like going to sports games and getting hyped is kind of like my thing and I just like always love to be like a positive presence um, on campus. Auditioning in front of the Buki Heads was extremely intimidating. There were a lot of people there which helped to um, keep the noise up and keep the um, spirits high. It's one of my prouder moments at PA. At first it was super intimidating because um, they're all my friends, but they were being pretty mean. Um, but having my other friends in the crowd was what made it um, pretty easy. Um, and I got people hyped up by uh, just getting loud and getting everyone involved and running around. I think everyone's kind of said this, but they had this intensity about them that I'd never seen. Um, I just tried to be really polite and I just went along with it. I was raised in the South, so. I, roll. I painted my eyebrows, eyebrows blue. What else did I do? I made a lot of eye contact with people. I think the audition was one of the more fun things I've done at Andover. And I had a really good crowd with me, so very thankful for that. Um, and I think I ran in with a cartwheel, and I feel like that hyped a lot of people up and was just constantly super loud. So one of the dances that I did was called a death drop. Apparently I went so high in the air that I was over the heads of the crowd and they could see me go up and I just fell to the floor. So pretty memorable moment there. The process of finding out um, is a secret. Uh, but how I felt when I got with the results and sort of that day, I mean, I would just characterize it by saying um, what I said to my mom when I got in the car uh, to get picked up that night, and I just said, like, that was the most fun I've had here. Once I found out the results, it was just, I felt like I was on top of the world. It was just an incredible feeling, and I can't talk about the process, but it was definitely something that um, I'll always remember. As much of a surprise as it was, there was just so much excitement. I know from like the other 10 kids and we all found out right at the same time and like we were just so stoked and we were so amped and I don't know, like I can't really describe how what we were feeling. I was ecstatic. Like I looked around the room and I couldn't see for three to five minutes, but once I could see and I saw the group, I was like, okay, like this is, this is crazy. It was really, it was really fun. <laughs> I'm really excited for orientation next year. I just know that there are kids like me who are going to be coming in not really knowing where their place is. I think I'm looking forward to orientation the most just to be able to go in that corner and cheer every new student's name. I'm also really looking forward to that because we get to scream on the corner and hype people up as they're driving in with their parents. Yeah, welcome new members of the community in. And the AE is my favorite event on campus. so. You better believe that I'm going to be entirely decked out in blue. I'm going to be screaming my head off and I expect everybody else to get involved right along with me. I'm looking forward to Andover Exeter weekend, of course, because it's always great to have a rivalry. I think just every single Friday is what I'm looking forward to, is just dressing up, putting the skirt on, playing music, just being super loud and having, you know, making a lot of energy for people and being someone people can look up to. I'm looking forward to dressing up on Fridays and kind of just spreading positivity all throughout campus. AE, uh, Valentine's Day, and going to all the games. I would say getting to know my fellow Blue heads because they always say that like by the end of like their year they're all very tight and they're like a family. So I'm very like excited to get to know them all. I'm just looking forward to you know dressing up on Fridays and sort of making a fool of myself I guess around campus and trying to trying to make people make people smile and be happy to be here. It was just something I've been excited about for a while. I think it's just cool to be a reminder or help remind other people about all the stuff that makes this school really great.